wrestling podcast on the planet, Beyond the Barricades, with your host, Dollar Bill, the cleaner, and the brain. Let's get started. Hey! I hope you're, I hope you're all staying dry and cool at the same time. If it's raining out. Now, we do still have our special guests from last week. We kept them in a basement. Um, chained we up. Have, yes, chained up. Forced to watch uh, XPW. <laughs> we have the Silent Assassin Fitz. Good. And then we have the the good, the old, the J.P. Meyer. Five points. Yeah. And I just want to make it known. That you only fed me bread and water. Well, we were expecting some like some body parts from the XPW guys could would like flop off, and you you know you cook it, you know. So, but then again, you'd probably get every disease under the sun with some of those XPW guys. Sorry, uh, yeah. see, the fact and, is that since you guys planets. were down in the basement, chained up in the basement, we. Kind of, we tried to bring you guys meat and potatoes and stuff like that, but we got inter intercepted by sloth. Damn. Yep. Are you guys? <laughs> and we we tried to get the uh, uh, the shock master to break through the uh, the walls, but he kept those. You know, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, mysteriously, the voice was coming from like the next room. I don't know. <laughs> But um, okay, so the next room contained Kevin Sullivan. <laughs> At least it was Ben and the Yeti. And I just want to uh, speak about Kevin Sullivan. I hope he's doing well. Oh, yeah, uh, he's had some recent health problems. So uh, Agreed. for mm. especially the people that used to watch WCW, um, we hope he's doing well. Yeah. Yes. He actually, so he was actually very good at his job as the booker. Oh, very Taskmaster, good. member of the Varsity Club. Yes. Member so here we are. New, new logo. Uh, one week later, yeah. A new logo, all blue and pink. So tonight is night it's a gender two. reveal party. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> You're having a dynamite. Take that like what you will. That's me. So uh, we have night two. But before we start with night two of the AEW draft, we're going to recap night one. Indeed. So, Sounds like a good idea. First things first. We have Team Rampage here. Since they went first in the order, we're going to just uh, go by how they uh, did last week, you know, in terms of the order. And um, we are going to set a new order for night two. Mm -hmm. um, it's still going to be the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, um, no steak style. Uh, so first off, we have Team Rampage. They're coming off with Swerve Strickland, Adam Cole, John Moxley, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, Powerhouse Will Hobbs, Mercedes Monet, Malachi Black, Ricky Starks, Pac, and Christian Cage. Now for Team Dark, we have Will Ospreay, Kazuchika Okada, Willow Nightingale, Darby Allen, Deanna Perrazzo, Mark Briscoe, Samoa Joe, Adam Copeland, Orange Cassidy and Hook. On hook. Collision, we have MJF, Brian Danielson, Kenny Omega, Mariah May, Hangman Adam Page, Anthony Bowens, Julia Hart, Shane Taylor, Big Bill, and Nick Wayne. And on Team Dynamite, we have Cal Claudio Castagnoli, Eddie Kingston, Tony Storm, Chris Statlander, Dax Hardwood, Cash Wheeler, FTR, Real Yuta, Thunder Rosa, Max Casta. And Katsuri Shibata. Shibata. Shibuti. So um, we also just want to remind you who's available. We were able to find whatever money we had. And we were <laughs> able to uh, get Mel Kuyper's analysis. But then again, it's wrong like 50% of the time. So you'll never know what him. <laughs> but to show you some of the names still on the board, we have Billy Gunn. worst $2.50 we ever spent. Yeah. Yeah, Man, just ask, ask the Baltimore Colts. They'll tell you how but good he but is. But at least it cost us less than a path train ride. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 275. <laughs> so uh, we still have Daddy Ass Billy Gunn, The Learning Tree Chris Jericho, the Skateboard Jack, Jack Perry, um, The Switchblade Jay White, mm -hmm. 
the nickname unavailable Ke- uh, Keith Lee, <laughs> uh, Mr. Yakuza K- uh, Konosuke Takeshita, EVPs, my fellow EVPs, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, mm-hmm. the Lucha Brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have also available Sammy Guevara, Wardlow, and on the women's roster, some of the names still left Athena, Hikaru Shida, Nyla Rose, and Soraya, just to name a few. And before we look on to night two, uh, as we were talking about uh, running a poll Mm -hmm. to see what the fans said about who they decided had the best roster. And these are the results. Dynamite with 13%. Collision with 12%. Rampage with 10%. Dark with 8%. And a whopping 57% said they would kick Bon Jovi square in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, halfway there. And, and, if, and if somebody around here heard you say that, they would kick you square in the balls. Oh, yeah. I'm from his, uh, I'm from, I'm, I'm Jersey. I, am I was in not Jersey. talking about him. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. that was she, a shout shall out. shall not be named. That was a shout-out. Uh, go ahead. You reversed it. Dark. You put Dark at 11%, like 10%, and Rampage at 8%. Listen, I just... Um, I Listen, this was just a whole joke that I, I, I wanted to <laughs> shout-out South Park. Okay? <laughs> so, um, oh God, I've, always wanted, I've always wanted to do this joke. Um, I laugh at it still every single still time. Too. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's like some Christmas episode, and they're like, uh, "Oh, do you think Christmas should still be a holiday?" And like, like thirty percent thought it shouldn't be, and ten percent didn't, and then fifty-seven percent said they would kick Bon Jovi square in the balls. That's what I love about their. <laughs> I their love comedy. that joke, by the way. That oh was- yeah. <laughs> so, and um, so that was uh, night one. <laughs> <laughs> that oh <my> was <laughs> that was night one. So now one. let's get underway with night two. Night two. Oh my god. So we, we have a little presentation here, or at least, at least more pizzazz to uh, uh, uh order. So we have a big wheel. wheel. A deal. Yes. yes. So you're gonna make the deal. Uh, with the devil, spin the wheel. Again. Make the deal. With the devil, fan. All right, Cuphead. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, JP already has MJF. Oh wait a minute, oh, no, the God. devil was Adam Cole. Yes, yes, but uh, I, I, I was talking about the hockey team. <laughs> I don't need blood. I saw the devil, so yeah, I already made a deal. <laughs> That's your story, by the way. <laughs> All right, so. Here we go. Determining the results. Uh, so what we're going to do is whoever comes up first, they will get the first overall. And it would be going and going until we're down to two t- uh, two names left. So here we go. Control and enter. Whee! And the wheel is spun. The first pick goes back to Rampage. Rampage. Oh! Take your pick. Okay. So now pick number two. Yeah, baby. Goes to Dynamite. <laughs> and now for the final pick, the Pepsi logo determines. Oh. oh my. Well, <laughs> retain the number three pick. All right. So the new draft order, and here's the number four pick. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I got, I got, I got the. Uh, Polite applause. <laughs> got the golf Mercy clap. Play. The golf clap. <laughs> so last week I did it all on a computer. This week I am going to um, write it down like a responsible person. I did it on a computer. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> all right. So, all right. I'm, so I'm just putting it in on the uh, on the chart that you sent us. Yeah, that's exactly. What I'm doing too. I'm just I'm just crossing out the ones that I picked. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well. well however, well, you putting, guys want to do it. Names next to the picks. No, that's cool. I mean, I just I was in a rush. I was like, I'm just gonna cross off. I figured someone else is gonna do that. 
I was going to do the whole color-coded thing, but um, I realized I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to write everything yeah, down. Hi, baby. All right. Okay, so round 11, night two. Um... I uh, do you guys got anything to discuss before uh, before we start this? Nah, I'm ready to go. Fitz, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. One one question. Shoot. Was anybody was has anybody been on the injured list lately or kicked out? Or, uh, or left um or Well, Powerhouse Hobbs is out. Well, that was up to last week. Okay. Um yeah, that's an up to date to last week, but um I wasn't really considering injuries since this is just fantasy. Um we're just yeah, we're not you know doing it for points or anything like that. No, not that's even that. Help. I'm just saying like this is all uh imagine if they were all healthy and imagine, you know, okay. everybody's up to ask. grab. Yeah, yeah, there's no problem. All right, so um, with that, no further questions uh, chat, to be asked. Room. Yes, hello, chat room. Um, all the three people you were here. Um, yeah. It's much like a 2019 WWE show. We need more yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did that because, you know, some people love to say, oh. I got magic. Other Here's... Susan, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm going to wave. I am say. Going, I'm going All to right. do my dance. Do you want to see me do my dance again? Sure. No, we don't need you doing the truffle shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You know, first time I ever watched that movie was like in um in randomly in class one day. I was like, I've never seen this movie. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. one of the all-time classics. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I was like, I, I I've always heard about this movie, but never saw it. If, right. you guys want a, if you guys want a good Facebook page to join, Spaceballs, the Facebook page. They're oh, making yeah. Spaceballs, too. I'm so excited. Finally. Finally. Oh, I know. finally. I mean, yeah. they, did, they did History of the World Part 2. Yeah, we need, we need Spaceballs, too. It was too. more of a TV show than it was a movie. Yeah. And it was raunchy as fuck. Come the desert. Yeah. We you fail shit. <laughs> Look, let's let's get the star and go to plat, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fitz, first, All right. first pick, night two, round eleven. Go for With it. That, uh, I'd like to call open night two of the AEW draft. And with that, team AEW Dark is on the clock. You mean Rampage? Wait, dark? Rampage is no. on the dark. Is yeah, Rampage. Rampage. Uh, I got that mixed up. <laughs> oh my god, I, I drew it upside down. God damn it. <laughs> oh boy. I did it upside down. All night. I love this show. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do a live. You're anyway. one of the hosts. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you have you have thirty three percent uh percent chance of winning on, on rampage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, Steiner. <laughs> no, he's Listen. actually right because there's only three shows technically. Yeah. This well, yeah. Hilarious, three shows still around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, All right. doors. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! So, um, with that, Rampage is on the clock. All right. With the first pick of night number two. Rampage has selected Ray Phoenix. Ooh, one nice of one. The, Phoenix. One of the um, Lucha Brothers. I saw him lose the tag titles and shatter his arm on mm -hmm. the cover Dynamite on TBS. I was there. And then um, I saw him win the international title. While uh, f f with uh, concussing John Moxley, oof, oof, yeah, that was last year at Grand Slam. John Mo Moxley suffered a really bad concussion, and just yeah. out of nowhere, they made the uh, the the audible to let Ray Phoenix win the international title. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So with that, Dynamite, you it is your pick. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So many talented. Individuals to choose from. 
you know, I've always been a great student of the business of wrestling. I've always enjoyed learning all I can about it. But there is always someone who is a better teacher than I have been a student. And I am going to visit the dojo. I'm going to see the professor. I'm Ooh. taking Serena Deeb. I like Ooh. that pick. Okay. I like that pick. I have a question. You like my description. I have, I have a question real quick. Okay. Huh? Can you do who has the chart up right now from like the one you said of okay? Go can you go to the women's section for me and number 12 underneath Jamie Hayter? For some reason, mine came out blank. Julia Hart. Like, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Julia Hart. Julia Hart. Yeah, yeah you because remember you crossed them out. Julia Hart yeah. belongs to JP. I know the problem was is at the end of my sheet, I must have I I had the line they highlighted. But I must have deleted by accident. So thank you. All right. So with that, collision, you are now on the clock. All right, all right, all right. Okay, Matthew McConaughey. I hate I I hate him and I'm jealous of him. (laughs) There. But it's 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 for a stupid reason. Come on. You gotta be jealous of him because he he was able to kiss Ashley Judd. No, I'm jealous of him because one, I didn't know he was in a band. I'm not jealous of him because of that. And two, he got to meet my my favorite band. That's why I'm jealous of him. He got to meet right. Boxer. Yes, he did. I'm oh yeah, that's, that's that's legit. That's legit jealousy right there. That is. It is. All right. I I bought you some extra time, Collision. Oh, about breaking up the tag team. <laughs> Okie dokie, I know. I don't even have L- to say a thing. No, you don't. Uh, mm-hmm. With his uh, round 11 pick, Collision takes George Kittle <laughs> in the San Francisco 49ers. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what was your really pick? Uh, Penta L zero metal. Yeah, well, just for the folks at home, folks. So, uh, dark. Oh, oh God! All right. Three choices. I think. Yeah, fuck it. It's screw it. She's one of my. She's one of my all-time favorites, and. So she's one of my all-time favorites, and I was like, really, just love seeing her in the action, and even her Instagram's awesome. So I'm going with Hikaru Shida. Ooh. Oh, nice one! Yeah, very her good. Instagram is freaking awesome. I love watching her. Like, she was her recently stuff. very, very good pick. Recently at a Like a Dragon convention, one of the winners for the cosplay costume, a wonderful cosplay of Ichiban. Hmm. Yep. All right. So with that, round 11 is now done, and round 12 is next to go. Okay. So with that, we return to Rampage. You are now on the clock. All right. I'm going to go with another great wrestler that is from the great country of Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> With Vancouver's own Kyle O'Reilly. Ooh, nice Kyle one, O'Reilly. He wasn't Kyle on the O'Reilly. Keppers available list. I almost did put him on. Uh, or excuse me, Mel Kuyper almost did put him on, but there was so much talent still available. How much is is AEW uh, Fight Forever? It should be like twenty to thirty dollars. I know Steam has sales. I want to see if it's still on sale. Um, each, uh, yes, uh, sponsored by AEW Fight Forever. Uh, I believe with the uh, sponsored by water because they <laughs> just added a all seasons pass, so you get all the DLC that was uh released, and I think that might be like 40 bucks. Let me see real quick. No, it's back to 40 bucks. The ultimate okay. edition is at the ultimate edition is at 80. 
Okay. But yeah, that comes with all the DLC. That includes like the new, well, last year's Dynamite look. Um, that also includes like Samoa Joe, Hook, Jay White. Um, they added a whole bunch of shit. Um, but yet some fans won't still be appreciative of it that nope. we got a wrestling game ground up from a new company. Um, but, um, but enough with those uh, trolls from Stanford. All right. So dynamite, you are now on the clock. Mm. I hope you like that um that free time we just gave you. Oh, I always enjoy the free time. Mm-hmm. So you know what? Okay. Let's see. Oh. So many. I'll tell you what. You're gonna you're gonna laugh. And you're going to be shocked at the same time. You're picking Kenny, aren't you? From uh, South Park. <laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> but That's I'm how not- they do the voice. <laughs> yeah. I am picking somebody that I actually know. That I have worked with. Unfortunately, he has become an asshole, an idiot, and a scapegoat. Ooh. I am Ooh. taking Jack Perry. <laughs> I had Excellent no idea selection. you worked with him. Yeah, yeah GCW. Kind of GCW. Yeah. yeah, I remember when he was still like, he was just starting out that Jungle Boys thing, but yep. he wasn't like that. That full like Tarzan person, right? It was just, it was just a gimmick. So, yeah, um, but, it was, but yeah, it was actually working out pretty well for him. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah it was, I never heard. Really of that. I never heard the story, so that's kind of cool, though. That's wow. Cool. I think the first uh, Atlantic City show that we went to, which was you know the first one for GCW in Atlantic City, it, it started off with a scramble match. I think uh, the two mem- two members that I could remember specifically on that show were Jack Perry and Orange Cassidy. Hmm. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Wow. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I met, I met, I've met quite a few guys over the years. You know, and I've met exactly one wrestler. Well, actually, <laughs> one wrestler uh, that I've gotten to take a picture with. I've met two other wrestlers. Mm. Good stories. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, with that, let's uh, let's hand it over to Collision. You are now on the clock. All right. For my second pick, I'm going over to Japan. Nihon. Nihongo. I'm going to take. <laughs> I'm going to take a member of the Don Callis family. Please. And it's my sister's favorite wrestler from AEW. <laughs> And she's giving me a look. <laughs> don't, chill. Do not hit me right now. Ow. <laughs> it, <laughs> no, no. You got, it's with a chair, and it's got to be harder. But anyway. Um, it is Kenoshi, Kenoshki, take a shit up. Yes. Yes. Kind of, yes. Kind of of proper pronunciation of his name. Bullshit. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, Shut up. Kenoshki, take a to catch them? Okay. Not take, take a shit. A shit. <laughs> uh, <whether>. All right, Corny. <laughs> so, uh, Kodosuke Takeshita is right now not currently on um, TV for AEW because starting the 20th, he will be in back in Japan competing in New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax 34. He is the representative of AEW. Good luck to him and the rest of the competitors in the G1 Climax. It is without a doubt the best tournament in wrestling. Mm-hmm. 20- uh, I'm, not, I'm never going to argue that point. 
20 grueling nights in a, in a especially in a hot Japanese summer where some of these places don't have air conditioning. Nope. They give you some of the best matches you'll ever goddamn see. Mm-hmm. All right. So with that, Dark, you are now on the clock to end round 12. All right. Let's see what I pick. All right. We need a bit. We also need something. I'm going to take somebody that definitely hyped up. But... Hyped... Okay. Hyped up, but doesn't do much. But I got to make him do something here. So, and plus, because I think he's, I thought he was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with uh, the Switchblade, Jay White. Yes, Jay White. If you ask him, he single-handedly sold out Madison Square Garden. <laughs> As IWGP yeah, champion. Yeah, right. right. And then became the first man to ever lose the IWGP championship in a country other than Japan for a show that I was at. Love him or hate him. Say that again? I said you can like him or hate him. Some people like him, some people don't. Yeah, that's true. I, I love that I like dude. Him, I like him. He's funny. Very. All right. So with that, uh, round 12 is over. Round 13 begins. Rampage, you are on the clock. With my next pick, I'm going to go to the women's side this time. And I'm going to go outside the box. I'm going to go with somebody that I just recently met. I'm actually going to go with Sky Blue. Uh, That was going to be my pick this round. (laughs) What in the future? Uh, We'll say that again. (laughs) I said, JP, sorry, bud. All good. Uh-huh. All right. Um, so uh, with that, Dynamite, you are on the clock. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, and while we were talking, I was thinking back to what you uh when we you were showing that Mel Kuyper list, and you couldn't figure out Keith Lee's uh. Nickname? Yeah. I, I was having a brain. Limitless, yes. Limitless I was having a brain for it. Yeah, so. Well, since. Uh, let's see. Since the Don Dollar Bill over here took a member of the Bang Bang Gang. Bang Bang. I, too. I'm going to take somebody from a faction. The Bang Bang Gang. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Bang Bang Bus. Ba-dum-bum. I was hoping to that. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I don't know why I got it. <laughs> then again, maybe I'm not. The Bang Bang Bus scaring you? They should absolutely (laughs) They should absolutely rename it to the Bang Bang Boss. That would oh my and have the sponsorship. Oh my god. Yeah, and they're like, no. (laughs) Well that would bring back the attitude error. Literally. God they already took one half one third of the group. Yep. Just to to mess with JP. (laughs) I'm gonna take the sec the last of the group. I'm taking the badass. Billy Gunn. Meh. 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 The one. Can you imagine how many mess we'd be getting if Kane was in on this? Oh, God. <laughs> Every pick would be a meh. The one. 
Yes. Uh, <laughs> Billy Gunn. And mm-hmm. he and unfortunately he does not come out with his lover, uh, Chuck Palumbo. <laughs> so uh collision, you are now on the clock. All right. Since somebody took who I was going to pick. <laughs> um so I need a female. Of course. Um, the question is, who? 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 Who, who? who could it now, be? Who could it be? I'm going to go... I'm going to go outside the box, but the thing is... What box? Oh, this box of tissues right here. <laughs> um, you could be talking about another box, but that's a different story. Mm. I, I'm hoping this pick gets allowed. It's not on the list, though. If it's on the list, it should be. Uh, well, it, you just have to put it up for a vote. <clears throat> the Ring of Honor television champion. Billy Starks. The women's Ring of Honor television. Uh, yes. Do we want to put this onto a vote? I say yes. Because uh, yes. Shane Taylor was not on the list last week and we allowed it. We can't say uh, no to Billy Starks because she's not on the list. Wait, okay. who was not on the list last week and he allowed it? Shane Taylor. Uh, Shane Taylor. I thought Shane Taylor was on the list. No, he didn't. No, he wasn't put on. He wasn't written onto the list because I looked. He's not because he I went see. from Sean Dean to Swerve Swerve Strickland. He didn't have Shane Taylor. I see. And it there. we allowed we allowed Shane Taylor to be picked. Who got Shane Taylor, so, by the way? Me. JP. Okay. So, so now we're jumping in, into Ring of Honor people now. Um. Well, well we have Billy, some people who do both. Right. Yeah. But Shane like, Taylor does both. I guess it was Mark just one thing. It's like. Both. Who is like, okay, so the rule then is who does both or who does well, one primarily? Well, here's the thing. Um, I didn't put them on the list. Uh, yes, but uh, what we can do is for the three of you to vote. And, you know, uh, John, John, and Will. The three of you vote and majority rules. That's what we did with Shane Taylor. That's what we could do with Billy Starks. So, I'm just gonna have one thing just to wait for my vote. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The only thing is, I don't know the whole Ring of Honor roster, so it's kind of like now it's almost expanding on it. So I would, I'm okay with it now, but I'm kind of like more, I'm gonna be more hesitant if you add any more Ring of Honor guys because, yeah, like I said, I don't know. I can tell you, I can tell you, this is gonna be. My last Ring of Honor pick. Okay. So the reason why with Shane Taylor is because I think he is on the AEW roster. And uh, well, let me check. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna check right now if he's on the the website. And the reason why I, I was going to put him on. Uh, no, he's actually not on it. But I still was gonna put him on, and I, I think I forgot. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like, that's like- so like Billy Starks, yeah. Um, okay. It's not even showing her on the list. So I guess she's is exclu- Oh wait, no, I didn't even check the women. Um, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, she's not there. There is somebody else that I don't think I put on. Did, wait, hold on. Did I put her on? Let me check. Oh no, yeah, she's on the list. Um, but Billy Starks is not. Right. So yeah, like I said, um, it'll be put up to a vote. If you guys, the three of you guys, want to uh, okay it, you're more than welcome to. If not, it's up to you. So um, at least two of you have to say yes. So um, for yes, to allow the pick. Like I like I said, I'm allowing it. It's just when like let's just keep it with just strictly AW guys. Otherwise, yeah. whoever's like, on the the, yeah. the spreadsheet. Yeah. But okay. it's, it's cool with me though. That's so, last. Okay, dollar bill, you're cool with it, John. 
I'm good. And it looks I'm like good. okay, so it's a three yeah. zero. So Billy Starks, yeah, minion I, in training. I just added him her to the list. So. Okay, yeah, uh, Billy uh, minion in training, Billy Starks. <laughs> and you uh, want. <laughs> Um, okay, so now is um, Dollar Bill for Dark. Ah. The end to, uh, to end round 13. Let's end round 13. Where are we going? You know what? Since since Brain said he worked, uh, he picked somebody he worked with, uh, that she met, know him a little personal, you know, at the time. I'm also going to pick somebody that I've also had the pleasure of knowing, I've known personally a little bit, and also seeing them from the very beginning and how they developed over the years, especially in the JP, JP school, which means I I'm know going where to pick. he's going. Oh yes, you do. I'm picking Jay Lethal. Lethal mm. injection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The franchise of Ring of Honor. Oh yeah. Can never go wrong with Jay Lethal. Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. All right. So um hey, Dal, just as Dal a little Bill. update. Yo. Remember that one time we after we went to a show in Rawway, we stopped at the Applebee's. And oh, about five minutes God. after this, he walked in, they did. Yep. <laughs> Jay Lethal and a couple of the other guys walked in. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Yeah, they walked that's the said, weren't you guys just at the show? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Just in December, yeah. I remember it now. I was see. Yeah. I remember. I remember Magic coming up to us uh, at the diner, at the Broadway diner. Uh, it was me, you, and uh, I think RPM. We had gone after the Maris show, and yeah. we ran it. Uh, Maris was uh, our Magic was just walking in, and he said hello. He yeah. even said hello to me uh, when I was with my friends. I was like, oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. Because well, Magic's yeah. a cool guy, you know. Magic's yeah, cool. no, he's a, he's a very awesome. sweet dude. I love that dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, just a little recap of the first three rounds tonight: Rampage uh, going Ray Phoenix, Kyle O'Reilly, and Sky Blue. Dynamite going Serena Deeb, Jack Perry, and Billy Gunn. Collision going Penta Zero, uh, Penta El Zero Mero, Kanosuke Takeshita, and Billy Starks. And Dark rounding it out with Hikaru Shida. Hikaru Shida, Jay White, and Jay Lethal, the Jays. Fortunately, you can't <laughs> get the hat trick. Nope. <laughs> but that was cool. So, round 14. Kick it off with Rampage. You are officially on the clock. Uh, I feel like I need another veteran for my show. I already got Christian Cage. But I really don't want anybody else from this patriarch. But I am going to go with a veteran. And it's probably somebody you guys are not thinking who I'm going to take. Hmm. I have okay. met individual in the past. And I would like to give him another shot at the top. Tommy Dreamer is not with AEW. He's with TNA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was thinking about the Sandman, but he's not available. No, he's he might be free. available with ROH. <laughs> yeah. But in all seriousness, I'm going to go with J E double F. J A double R. E double T. Jeff Jack slap nuts. <laughs> I hey rap. last outlaw. <laughs> I remember that song he did. Oh Listen, God, I remember the cool bad. that was remember, so bad. I remember the cool body. I remember the cool stuff like him fucking uh smashing a guitar over Beetlejuice backstage in Nitro. Yes, oh, I remember <laughs> that. And I ran into Beetlejuice two days after that, and he's like Damn, I'm still hurting from that shot. He fucking remembers? Like, what the hell he did? <laughs> well, that you was back then. You should have asked him to um, spell his name. <laughs> <laughs> Lester, uh, spell your name. Or no, Lester, spell red. L-S-T-E-R. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I'm never gonna forget that. Yeah, that that's that's about right with Beetlejuice. <laughs> what becomes what comes between two and four? Thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh shit! All right, Dynamite, you're on the clock. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick in the men's category. And I am going to. Oh, it hurts me to do this. It really hurts my neck to do this. Adam! 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 <laughs> oh my God, that was so annoying. It was. <laughs> The that Messiah. Was almost, that was almost as annoying as Leo Rush and that Lashley, Lashley. Oh God! No, yes. No, another, no, ge another gentleman not, that uh, me. Dollar Bill and I have seen many, many times live. Mm -hmm. In our days of visiting Ring of Honor at the Inman Sports Complex. <laughs> When I wasn't getting crushed by Necro Butcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Still have nightmares Mes about that. Messiah of the Backbreaker. Fun fact in a mere couple of days, he's actually, Mr. Ring of Honor is once again competing for the RRH World Championship. The main event of Death Before the Sun is Roger Strong and Mark Briscoe. Ooh, that's going to be a banger. Yes. Banger. After banger. After banger. After so, banger. Uh, with that yes, collision. With Roderick Strong. Collision. You are on the clock. All right. So I've been thinking about this pick for a couple spots now, even going back to round one last week. Oh. Um, the fact that none of us have taken them until now is kind of shocking. Hmm. I just have one thing to say. Hmm. Hi, guys. Oh, no. Hi. My Bonjour. pick. My pick is the current uh, for, for the world uh, champion. Chris Jericho. Still to this day is my notification update. Ooh, a little bit of bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I love the crowd, the crowd chanting. Please retire. And don't Please forget retire. he's the wizard. And then he gets uh he gets on the mic. And don't forget if you piss him off, you just made the list. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. What? Uh, breaking AEW news. Something that I really never thought was going to happen. Death mm -hmm. Triangle is going to appear in CMLL. Oh, right. Really? Yeah. And the thing that why I never thought that was going to happen is because Penta and Ray Phoenix are both very, very, well, at least at the time, were very loyal to AAA. And. So them jumping the ship to CMLL is pretty huge because you want to talk about a wrestling rivalry. There is no bigger war in professional wrestling than AAA and CMLL. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That makes that puts WCW and WWF to shame. To shame. The Monday night that puts the Monday night wars to shame. That makes um, it that makes it look like a little spat on the school schoolyard. Yeah, okay. yeah, because they take it serious down there in Mexico. People have been oh, murdered yeah. over this yes. shit. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, Dark, last pick of round 14. Oh, who am I taking? Who am I taking? Uh, you know what? I need some more power. I always need power. 
who could have asked and given a lot of power? And it's none other than someone who can make a symphony out of it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was good. Knew it. I'm, I'm going with Warlow. Warlow. Mm -hmm. Warlow. He's off the clock. He's off the board, I should say. Yep. So All now right. to the. You want to you hear something funny, guys? Shoot, shoot. I watched a specific movie earlier today with uh, three very, very big stars and one pedophile. Oh, I was going to say, when you said big stars, I was going to say um, uh, The Sun. Uh, fuck, I, I don't remember. The, the Sun, sun the Moon, and the, and the North Star. No, the moon is not a star. Yeah, I know. But I, I was I was gonna reference. No, I know, I know. I was gonna reference some of the shit that I learned in astronomy class, but I can't remember that far back. <laughs> Oops. And by far that far back, I mean two months ago. <laughs> you can remember what you had for breakfast yesterday. I can't even tell you what I had for dinner today. <laughs> you probably didn't have dinner. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. However, oh way. God! I know yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> That's the Thanksgiving song. Exactly. Yes. Uh, so the three sons: um, uh, Julius, Maximus, and Trigonometry. I don't fucking know. No mm -hmm. See that—that that is why you should never be a comedian, folks. Yeah. Gonna move your butt. All right. Um, well, we'll get to the sons and the pedophile later. Um, and I'm guessing the pedophile is Donald Trump. No. No. Um, political aspirations aside, Rampage, you are on the clock. Isn't it Dollar Bill, sir? I already oh. went. But never mind, never yeah, mind. yep. He just took Wardlow. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you go with power. I'm going to go with power. All right. But a different <laughs> kind of power. Uh-oh. Electricity. That deserves a monster push. Yeah. And that has been overlooked for far too long. And I was a huge fan of his at one point in time, which I still am. But I'm not saying I'm not a fan of his anymore, but I still am. I'm going to go with the Redeemer, Miro. Ooh. Ooh. I need a match with Miro and Wardlow. Just a, you know, meat slapping match. Miro. <laughs> Miro, quite possibly the stupidest man alive by breaking up with Lana or CJ yes. Curry. Um, yes. All right. Yeah. Well, no. Aaron Solo's stupider. You know who yeah. that is, right? Yeah, broke up with mm -hmm. Bailey. Yep. Yep. Dumbass. All right. So, Dynamite, mm -hmm. it is your pick. That's a good meter. Ah. Let's see. More on that. Yeah, no, he he's too much of a crybaby. He loses too much. Can't I don't want him. Don't go with Barry Horowitz now. Come on. Yeah, but Barry Horowitz has a win over the body donnas. So this is at SummerSlam. Yes. Luna, what are you doing? Even before SummerSlam. Yeah. So Hmm, let's see. Some, I'm I'm going back over to the ladies' side, and no, she's. Mm -hmm. Just so many choices. Do, 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 do. 
Yes, yes, yes. When you want to start something, you got to start somewhere. Somehow. Some way. And you have to have an original. You have to have an original champion. So, I'm, as I said, I'm sticking with the ladies. I'm going with Rio. Ooh. Now, I don't think we have any uh, four-letter names uh, left. So, um, we're going to have to stop that gimmick right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do it. Wait, we kind of do have one more four-letter name. Well, I'm. Oh, well, yeah, there is one more. One more. Let's see if somebody, um, that you, at least one more that hasn't been taken. Right. Um. So let's see if Collision wants to take him now. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, talking about big, big, me big meaty men earlier. <laughs> <flapping>. <laughs> Slap me. <laughs> I'm going to the House of Black. And I'm taking Brody King. Okay. Now there's a meat slapper. Mm -hmm. He also, um, I don't know if it's for a price or not, but if you go to one of his concerts in his uh, metal band, he will throw you off the stage. And that is something that I've seen. He's I've seen it. I guess it happened very recently. He threw somebody off the stage at one of his metal shows. And nice. he threw Darby Allen off the stage at one of his metal shows. He also uh I don't know if it was Darby Allen specifically, but um I know he put Darby Allen through a table at a uh, signing. Yes. <laughs> All right, so with that, Dark, you're on the clock. Okay, okay. Wow, so many good choices still remain. Try to coin one or two, two or one. Uh, uh, That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think. Just to make a few people happy, I'm going to go with another woman. And I'm going to pick Soraya. Very nice. That is well, very nice. Well, you've always been a fan of hers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he is. Let's see what we got here. 80 degrees to a heavy rain. Uh, see what kind of weather I got to deal with tomorrow. Wait, did somebody uh, make their? Uh, did Dark you make your selection? Yeah, it's a Soraya. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. That's all right. I'm just. I'm sitting I'm, here. I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Didn't even say it. Uh, but yeah, Soraya. Um, I was actually at her debut at Grand Slam 2022. Nice. Uh, I remember just sitting there in the ring. Or, you know, uh, I wasn't in the ring. Uh, you wish. I wish, yeah. I was sitting there in my seat, and the music starts playing, and nobody knows what the hell is going on. And then you just see Soraya flash on the screen. And, man, I'll tell you what. That place was not expecting her. Or something. Yeah, it did. She, wow. Yeah, I, did. Mm -hmm. I still remember just being like this the whole time. My mouth was like legit wide open because I that was not something I was expecting that day. All right. So we are halfway through um, day two. And we are now heading into round 16. Four picks left on the night. And then we will finally actually put it up to a vote, uh, the full rosters. And no. Uh, Kicking John Bovey square in the nuts is not going to be an option. Oh, come on. I want it to be, 
but some people will get mad at me, and I only have a 33% chance stake of the uh, the company. So that's some bullshit. It is. I need I need to talk to the other owners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. See, I I'm not the one who's gonna do it. And neither but is you're the one. Else. You're the one who's gonna veto it. I'll kick them straight in the nuts. I don't care. No, I'm not. I, see, I didn't boom. say I was the one who's gonna veto it. It's somebody who isn't a member of the, the group who's going to veto it. But their vote doesn't matter. If they find out you did this. Mama, I will. Mama will do it. Mama will <laughs> kick your ass. Sometimes, it, you know, it's worth it. Sometimes you got to get hurt. You got to get hurt to get back up, you know? Don't, yeah, know, what that, don't know what that means, if, but... If you do that to her other husband... <laughs> Mama will like, make you look like Beetle Bailey after Sarge gets done with him. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you know what? My other wife doesn't know... I, or my other wife. My wife doesn't know I exist, so... Oops. <laughs> Maybe after you get turned into Beetle Bailey, she will. <laughs> nice one. Perfect. All right. So uh, back on track. We are here with round 16. After uh, halfway through round two. Four hey. pits left to go. Five. Actually, no, five. Five, yes, you're right. Uh, round 16. Rampage, you're on the clock. All right, so... I, John took an original champion before. JP took an original champion before as well. I think it's my turn. I go with an original champion. I'm going to go with somebody that we, we lost our host. We lost Vinny? Yeah. yeah. The fuck? Oh, All right, somebody, there, oh there he is. Uh, no, Vince McMahon almost got me. He almost got me. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter's trying to take us off the air, but no. No, we're AEW. We stand tall. We stand up to WWE. <laughs> Get our asses kicked every week, but we stand up to them. Yep. <laughs> Hey, I want to see somebody else do what we can do. I don't know if you saw my tag, but I did 5.3 lines of Coke before we started. Not enough, huh? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so I just couldn't finish the sixth line. Before I was really it, it, interrupted you know, by the competition. Hmm? What's that? The Coke burns, being that it's so carbonated and liquidy. Going through your nose. Well, the the other option was up my butt. <laughs> oh God, that's well. That's where the fun begins. <laughs> that's the fun way. All right. So before I was so really interrupted by uh, Stanford, Connecticut, uh, Fitz for Rampage, Team Rampage. You're on the, Rampage, you're on the clock. I'm going with the original champion. And probably some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, I forgot about him. I promise you, I haven't. I know who you're picking. Scorpio Sky. Yep, I knew exactly. For those that might not remember, one of the original AEW Tag Team Champions, along with uh, Frankie Kazarian, who is now in TNA. Mm -hmm. One half of SCU. One so third. third. Basically under indictment for attempted murder. Oops. No, no, come here. Wait, who's who's on Scorpio Sky? What? He stabbed somebody. No, you're thinking of two cold Scorpio. Are you sure about it's two that? Two cold Scorpio. Yes, yeah, two cold. Yes, two cold Scorpio. Okay. That guy, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and you know, I'm not surprised that it happened to Two Cold Scorpio because um, he almost did it to, I think, it was Scott yeah. Norton in North Korea, out of all places. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, no, you're thinking of Two Cold Scorpio. Thank goodness. Okay. I was like, no, Scorpio oh. guy's a shade. He would never be able to I do was that. Saying, what the fuck? Um. All right. So yeah, Scorpio Sky, one third of SEU. 
how can somebody forget the fallen angel? Um, speaking of fallen angel, I need to get in, say that again. He's not active for the draft, is he? No, 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 because he's a he's, he's pretty much, guy. yeah, yeah, he's pretty much backstage guy. I mean, he's like 53, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, that I do need, doesn't stop people. I do no, need to, no, it doesn't. Um, I do need to get in touch with him because uh, we need to help out. With Cody Rhodes' um, situation, he's got an extreme case of the money shakes right now. Um, it's it's super violent, super violent to the point where he actually made the jump back to WWE. <laughs> for all for everybody who doesn't understand that reference, please watch 2018 BTE, specifically the second half of 2018, uh, <laughs> where Cody Rhodes suffers from the uh, suffers uh, suffers from the money shakes. And the whole thing is that he'll start. He was acting like a WWE stooge, so it's really funny. Um, and there's a whole scene where they're doing a whole exorcism. <laughs> I, I, yes. Uh, oh, I think I think uh, there's a YouTube video called "The Exorcism of Cody Rhodes" mm. that you would have to watch. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Um, so next is the brain. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know, probably one of the dumbest tag teams I have ever seen in my entire life were in that other company. The other company we're not talking about tonight. XPW. Yes. Oh, I I, I thought we were making a... uh, I thought that was a joke there. Okay, I didn't know we were actually talking about XPW there. (laughs) No, you know, it is a joke. But... (laughs) One of the one of the dumbest tag teams I ever saw, and they even had somebody who was on "quote unquote" suspension put on a mask and become part of the team mm-hmm. as the giant machine. However, I personally am taking. A machine. I'm taking one part, right. one third of the cage of agony. Gates, Brian the gates Kane. of agony. It, 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 it's the gates of agony. Wait, is it well, cage, when of he's involved, it's the cage of agony? Okay. Yeah, I think they changed the cage of agony. So I still can't get over um, Khan. You know, the buff dude. He was a part of the Soldiers of Savagery in ROH, and that's all I keep on thinking about. Like he's a soldier of savagery. Mm-hmm. Talk about a funny name. Um, all right, yeah, so I'm collision. Taking, I'm taking Brian Cage. The McKine. All right. Um, the McKine for all my Howard Stern fans. <laughs> um McInney. McInney. Uh JP, collision, you are on the clock. All right. Hmm. So I'm going I'm going to pick a tag team champion. One half of the AEW World Tag Team Champions because like, I I'm a man of my word. I'm not picking any more Ring of Honor people. Um I'm going to pick Matthew Jackson. My condolences. Mm. Yes, because you immediately just won the um, won this whole draft. Depending if you could get the other Jackson. Yeah, we'll see. One half of the greatest ta- tag team uh, in wrestling history. Executive Vice President of All Elite Wrestling, Matthew Jackson. All right, Dark, you are on the clock. Sorry, I personally, I think I had the greatest tag team in wrestling history. I mean, you know, one uh, of them is the only other you can consider other than uh, the Young Bucks. One of them is dead, unfortunately. unfortunately. Techno Team 2000. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot about their history. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to. It's funny that you did that because. That was actually 
my next pick. So you uh, and one Jackson. I'm going with the other Jackson. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> so three tag teams have been two tag teams have been broken up. You guys can feud with each other. Super kick party for everybody. The EV <laughs> EVP powers separated. The Jackson brothers ha are no more. I mean, they're still brothers. There will be no Wonder Twin powers activate. <laughs> I'll tell you what about Nicholas, though. You don't have to be um, swinging for the same team, but he could get you going. I At the end of Final Battle 2018, when uh, everybody was, you know, when all the wrestlers were shaking the people at ringside's hands, I got to shake hands with uh, Nicholas Jackson. And I'll tell you what, man. I never got lost in a guy's eyes before. That might have been the first time. <laughs> And, and and another thing is, um, I won't, I'm always going to forget about that, or not, I'm never going to forget about that night. Was that right after that happened? He was walking up the ramp, and somebody next to me was like, "Nick, Nick, where's uh, All In Two going to be?" And he goes, "Kayfabe, uh, or uh, he's going to." He was like, "Las Vegas, Kayfabe, Kayfabe." I thought he was talking about like anniversary show, or you know, he was keeping, you know, he was staying with Ring of Honor. Little did I know that they were going to form their own company. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I found out about Double or Nothing before the rest of the world. Nice. And Nick, Nick Jackson asked me to kayfabe it. <laughs> nice. So um, now we go to round 17. Now we have four picks remaining. Rampage, you're on the clock. Okay. I'm going to go back to the women's side. And I know there's probably very few left. Oh, no, I think there's a good. Left. Yeah, no, there's a good amount left. Yeah, there's a good amount. And I think I probably saved her at the right at the right time. I met her. I think I met her before she went to AEW last year. And I just met her recently again for the second time. I'm going with Harley Cameron. Ooh. Ooh, nice one, JP. Nice. That wasn't me. That yeah, was it wasn't. Yeah, it was Fitz. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm, losing, I'm losing my mind. I, I'm, dude, I'm working on, I'm working on fumes lately. I noticed. It's all right. And so is my butt. My butt's also working on fumes. Ba -ba -ba. No, like, like legit. <laughs> I have I haven't been falling asleep before four thirty or five o'clock in the morning. Jesus, dude. Yeah. All right. So uh with that, you are on the clock. All righty. Let's let's head back to the men's division for a minute here. I'll tell you what, one of my all time favorite movies of ever made was The Breakfast Club. Nice. Yes, good movie. Five complete and utter misfits stuck together on a Saturday morning in the library of their high school with one of the most asinine, obnoxious principles you will ever meet. That's for sure. And he's always picking on John Bender. Mm -hmm. And Bender's just antagonizing him and antagonizing him and antagonizing him. And he finally turns to him and says, you know what? You know what, young man? If you mess with the bull, you get the horns. So I'm taking El Toro Blanco. Now, can I ask? Uh, you yes. said Bender, right? Yeah. Uh, did you? Did he ask to bite his shiny metal ass? Wrong Bender. <laughs> Wrong Bender. 
Or what about, uh, did he say uh, that he was going to open up his own casino with blackjack and hookers? No, but he did tell him that Barry Manilow called and wanted his wardrobe back. <laughs> well, I mean, you could... Oh, no, no, let me rephrase that. He wanted to know if... He, he said, does Barry Manilow know you raid his wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> but he, he also did say, uh, name is Bender, please insert girder. I am Bender, insert girder. Please insert Gerter. Yes, I. As you could tell, I love my animated adult comedy shows. Yeah, you um, like Futurama. Nothing wrong with Futurama. Collision. On the clock. All right. What? Hold on here. I I just got a tweet. Ooh. Uh -oh. This person. This person says they want to join Collision. Ooh. Who could it Ni be? Nyla Rose. Ooh. Well, she was just on Dynamite tonight. And losing effort to... Uh, who? Uh, let Mercedes. Me go back. Mercedes and... Monet. Yes, so uh, to John, John's Mercedes Monet. I wanted to see who um, who had him in our draft. So, Dark, yeah. uh, please round out round 17 for us. Okay, all right. Hold on. I gotta make a note here. That's done. That's done. God, this is getting harder now. <laughs> yeah, getting harder. Like now, you know. What, now you know what uh, GMs in all the major sports go through when the later rounds of the draft come along. Exactly. And to think, you get to pick the either the Mister or Mrs. Uh, irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> last round of the draft. Oh God. Well, problem is, some of these guys, guys, guys don't even show up on TV anymore. So it's almost like, what the hell? Oh, oh God. All right. Ah, the only other name I can't. I well, no, I could do this. I need to get one. Of, I need to get some get, again going. So I think I'll take Colton Gun. Ooh, okay, interesting pick. I know one of the ass boys. Ass boys, ass boys. That was almost right. as annoying as that was almost as annoying as Lashley. 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 With that three, there was, there was more enthusiasm. He was like Lashley, Lashley, Lashley. No, he he dragged it out. He dragged it out. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Because you know he he the whole butt thing. Yeah. I'm trying to be funny, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, so with that, three picks remaining. Rampage, you are on the clock. Okay. My third, my third final pick. I'm gonna go with somebody that hasn't been picked, and you can correct. Well, you kind of have to. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well. Let me ask you, Vinny. Go Has ahead. A member of the House of Black been picked yet? Buddy Matthews? No. He's the last remaining member. Check, please. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. No, I don't see him. Done. Then I'll take him. Yeah. So what that means, 
Now, just so you know, that doesn't mean you get uh, you don't get uh, Rhea Ripley. She's in another <laughs> company and all that. You just get Buddy. Maybe she, right now she's oh, technically still attached to Dom Dom, but the dipshit Jay, Jay Uso's making his move. <laughs> Oh, good lord. We're, we're, we're talking about real life here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I, that was that was an attempt to be funny, but um, you may get a Max Caster, Max Caster rat if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Dynamite, you are now on the clock. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dollar Bill has the men's Ring of Honor champion. World champion, yes. Yes. Um, JP has the women's television champion. Yes. I see where you're going. Who's the who's the TV champion for the men over in Ring of Honor? Somebody in Atlantis. CMLL. Yeah, somebody in CLL, CMLL. Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. That's right. Fletcher just lost it to the, to the guy yeah. about two yeah. weeks ago. Okay. However, however, gentlemen, there is still one Ring of Honor champion available. Well, technic no, 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 no. The one I was thinking about, he was already taken. There is still one champion left that is available. The Fallen Goddess. Athena. I'll tell you what, one of the best finishers in wrestling. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. oh yeah. All right. With that, Collision, you are now on the clock. All right. So I was able to secure uh, a special guest for the next pick. Okay. Apparently, the guest is camera shy. Oh, my goodness. He brought in the mascot. He brought in yes. the mascot of, of the podcast. Yes. The special pick will be done by Luna. And she wanted me to let you know that we are picking another part of the Bang Bang Gang, Austin Gunn. The other ass boy. Yes. So that is another team that's broken up. We're breaking these teams up like left and right. The Gun oh. Brothers are on different shows. Yes, that's they the are. third set of brothers that have been separated. Yep. Yeet. All right. With the last pick of round 18, Dark, you on the clock. Oh, gosh. All right. All right. Who else can I take that? I'm kind of surprised no one's picked him yet. I'm really surprised no one's picked him. Maybe because he hasn't been on in a while. Hold on, let me make a note here. But he could be a bit of an annoying as a jackass, but eh, shit. He still gets people. I'll pick Sammy Guevara. Ooh. Ooh. Well, he's just coming back from injury, isn't he? He's coming back so. from suspension. He's coming back oh. from everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Injury, suspension, being a new dad. Fun fact. Sammy Guevara was on the first ever Dynamite match. Who was his opponent? Cody. Whoa. Damn. I was hoping some. Yeah, I hoping somebody wouldn't notice that. Uh, know that. <laughs> so, it, so you know, it, it wouldn't. Uh, it, we could build. Uh, you know, some suspension there. 
All right. It is time for the last two picks of the AEW first ever draft. And now, Rampage, you're on the clock. Okie dokie. Okie pokie. I'm kind of surprised no one picked this individual yet either. Now, rather if he's really injured or not, I'm going to go with Daniel Garcia. Very nice selection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He'll be back. Uh, oh, yeah, he'll be back. I'm he'll sure. be back. Um, okay, so next is Dynamite. So, let's see. So, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So, JP's got one ass boy. Dollar Bill got the other. But Dollar Bill also has Switchblade. Mm -hmm. You know, I just can't allow anybody to have three out of four people in a in a faction. <sighs> this is such a hard decision. It is rock hard no, it's to not. make this choice. No, it's not. You're right, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> ah! It's a swerve! Wrong company. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a swerve. He's already taken. I know. I but it's still a swerve. Um, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, brain. Don't be, don't yeah. be confusing. It's like watching an episode of the NWA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, right. I'm going to take somebody who should have absolutely annihilated somebody already, but he's I don't know what the hell he's waiting for. He's been abused, used, and humiliated. Uh. I know where you're going. Constant basis. Some people are into that, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, I'd pay top dollar for that. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate his name right now. Yeah, I know where you're going. I prefer his original name. So do I. I'm taking Luchasaurus. A.K.A. Um, Kill Switch. Yes. His official name is Kill Switch. Um, I don't want the paid patriarchy to be uh, mad at me. Fuck the patriarchy. Fuck Christian I mean, Cage. Fuck Nick Wayne. Fuck Mama Wayne. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a really uh, like a dark humor. Uh, morbid I, I joke. actually wouldn't mind it either, but you know that's a different story. I'm gonna make a dark humor morbid joke. I don't have a dad anymore, so I gotta be worried for Christian Cage. Same. Same. Yeah, so we all have to be worried. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but you know what? When it finally happens, it is going to be oh so sweet to watch. Oh yeah. All right. Um, so it finally turns on Christian Cage. It is going to be so damn sweet. It's going to be sweeter than Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yes, I went there. Not literally, but I went there. <laughs> All right. So, Collision, you're on the clock. All right. With last pick, I'm going to take, take one half of a tag team. They like to party a little bit. Ooh, yes. New Year... But which one? The security guard in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Mark Quinn. Good one. Another, another crew, another pair of people that I worked with. Countless times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Name of promotion. 
Um, all right. GC so, Dub. uh, with that dark round, the final pick of round 19. Oh, man. I don't know what he's doing lately. I mean, I want to pick him, but I don't think he's doing much anymore in wrestling. Well, well, give him something to do. All right. Yeah, really. Put him to work. I definitely will because there was somebody in the list here that I know he's been very under, underutilized in AEW, but has been doing the right, right in the Indies in RH. He's very quirky, but he's very nice and very evil. So I'm gonna go the yeah, only one that's gonna baby. pick Dan Housen. Dan Housen. Nice, very nice, very evil. evil. I will make him. I will push this guy to the moon. <laughs> I don't know how, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to. Dan Housen. Right, he needs money Dan for his Housen. Women. Dan Housen. <laughs> All right, with that, we have come to the final four picks of the All Elite Wrestling Draft. 140 names dwindled down to 80. Round 20, the last pick for Rampage. With my final pick of the draft. I'm going to go with somebody that probably hasn't won a title. I'm going to I'm going to try to give this push this person a push of her lifetime. I'm going with Anna J. Good one. She's got a fat ass. Yes. <laughs> That's the it. way the what way you said that, <laughs> just out of God. nowhere, out of nowhere. Oh, that was her gimmick. I forgot. Uh huh. I uh, completely forgot. Okay. Now, I'm going to make a a little comment here. Okay. Dollar Bill could have pulled off the trifecta with the Jays. Nah, I don't do that. Because you, you got Jay Lethal and Jay White. You could have had Anna Jay. Well, she's not a Jay. She's an Anna. I understand exactly. that, but she still got Jay in her name. So, but, uh, nah, I would have counted it's gotta be, that. I wouldn't have. I'm, I'm the EVP of CEOs. I would not have counted that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the EVP of CEOs of EDPs. Uh, matchmaking, uh, matchmaker. 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 You, general you manager. <laughs> Find me a fine Catch me a catch You didn't All catch right. that last part But you know what you can catch Your uh -huh. last pick mm -hmm. You know what That's not a bad idea But I'll what tell you what you picking? Mm. He, he is such a high flyer It's it's almost impossible To catch him Although He did Sort of get kind of caught by somebody when he was doing a shooting star press, and it came out of nowhere on him. Literally, yeah. And it was one of the most vicious finishing finishers I have ever seen. And I, th I think it was even more so than what we saw at WrestleMania 31. Hmm. Mm. But he wasn't going by this name at the time. No, of course not. However, we did However. see him once live a couple of times, and he held one of the greatest matches ever at an indie promotion against someone who is absolutely phenomenal. I am taking Matt Seidel. Yeah, I figured. 
Oh, yeah. You got, yeah. Come on. Come on. He may be Mr. Insignificant on my team, but you know what? I don't think there's anybody on my team who's insignificant. Just remember, make the money. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, with that, Collision, your final pick. All right. With my final pick, I'm going to reunite Mark Quinn with his tag team partner. I My pick is Isaiah Cassidy, Brother Zay. Yes. Now, one thing I am happy is that one tag team, this is our second complete tag team that has been taken by the same right. team. So that is a very good thing. And now it is time for the greatest moment in the NFL draft when it happens. The trivia question to be answered for for time and infinity. Mr. Irrelevant is going to dark. Who do you choose for Mr. Irrelevant? Or Miss Irrelevant. Or Miss, yeah. Hmm. Good question. Who do you pick? Who do you think you are? Mr. Big Shot. Who do you think you are? Let's see. Who knows? Who? Who do you pick? Who? 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 Wrong company. Who? So. <laughs> Who's that? Who's turns it right now? I'm well. yours. Yours, sir. <laughs> You're the last pick. <laughs> Why are you kept saying like the most epic? I don't have an epic pick. You know that. Yeah, but uh, the last pick is always the one that's uh. The trivia question. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is Mr. Irrelevant. All right, so we're going to move with Mr. Irrelevant. Well, it's definitely going to be a mister. And he just resigned. He just that he just said, yeah, I'm going to stay with the company, even though everyone kept thinking he's going to retire. So he's got a brother in another league. I figured what the hell, we'll keep him in this league. I'll go with Dustin Rhodes. The natural. There you go. There I go. Here I go again. Or also seven. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh wait, I one of his what worst is... gimmicks. Absolutely. Black Black Rain, they only think... had it for five minutes. Black Rain, I think it was his TNA one. Yes. Yeah. All right. So with that, the official AEW. 2024 draft is over. Uh, everybody else who has not been taken will be uh, selected in a supplemental draft that will come between and now and never. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the supplemental draft will be take take place in the podcast chat or February um, or February 30th. Yeah, yeah, February 30th. <laughs> It's going to happen. I was, I was thinking February 31st. Make it even worse. <laughs> it's going to happen at uh, AEW WrestleMania, <laughs> not the knockoff. Um, so here we go. Actually, uh, I thought it was going to happen at uh, WCW Starcade. Oh, shit. No, no, no. It's going to happen at um, uh, the XWF uh, Born to be Free. <laughs> if you now you have to be a really big wrestling fan to know of the XWF. Yeah. Um, all right, so here we go. So a recap of night hold, two. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I got hold it. I uh -oh. got a, I got the latest. Oh, oh shit. What? It's just it's just been announced that the supplemental draft is gonna be held at the twenty fifth anniversary of Jersey All Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, whenever well, that happens. Well, by the oh wait, by the time we actually get it done, it'll be the thirtieth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so here we go. Uh, recap of night two. Round the uh, so uh, rampage. They have selected Ray Phoenix, Kylo O'Reilly, Sky Blue, Jeff Jarrett, Miro, Scorpio Sky, Harley Cameron, Buddy Matthews, Daniel Garcia, and Anna J. Dynamite with day two picks for Dynamite is Serena Deeb, Jack Perry, Billy Gunn, Roger Strong, Riho, Brian Cage, Roosh, Athena, Kill Switch. And Matt Seidel. Collisions round two are uh, day two picks. Penta El Zero Medo, Kinosuke Takeshita, Billy Starks, Chris Jericho, Brody King, Matthew Jackson, Nyla Rose, Austin Gunn, uh, Mark Quinn, and Isaiah Cassidy. And finally, for Dark on their round two are uh, day two selections Hikaru Shida, Jay White, Jay Lethal, Wardlow. Soraya, Nicholas Jackson, Colton Gunn, Sammy Guevara, uh, Dan Halsen, and finally, mystery relevant, the natural Dustin Rhodes. So, uh, a realistic poll may go up between now and never. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, that is it. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, thank you for participating. Um, I am glad that uh, I didn't have to do that much cocaine or that much <laughs> speed. Yeah. Um, or heroin. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we had fun. I, ho I hope you guys had fun. Oh, I, I had did. tons of fun. I loved it. Yeah, we had a good time. We yeah. had a good time bullshitting in between picks and, <laughs> and yes. this was fun. spreading it out this really was... thick sometimes. Yes. This was, this was a lot <laughs> of good fun. Good times, everybody. Yeah, we yeah. always have a good time on here. Yeah, yeah, that is wonderful. And now, since also uh, because of my rampant drug use, I'm gonna have to uh, <laughs> step out because I have a court date tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Just that, remember, you, know, you hate everyone. You hate everyone yes. equally. Just remember. Yes, that. he's an E O O equal opportunity. No, 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 no. I am not. Uh, I'm not on jury duty. I am the court case. Oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's my oh. court case. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, because he didn't pay a ticket. He didn't buy a ticket for the light rail one time. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Oh and God! Yeah, I could have fucking already paid it off, but they're like, no. Yeah. Well, first of all, the fucking cop never put it. It was a transit cop too. That's another thing. It was a transit cop. It wasn't a newer cop. It was a transit cop. It took forever to it put it in the goddamn a system. Cop. It was probably a, a ticket. Uh, one of those fucking. It was uh, a ticket douche. Yeah, it, it was the the uh, the uh, I think they call it like fair fair watchers or fair some inspectors. shit. Yeah, it was one of them. So yeah. it, it took features. forever to it took forever to get into the system because I remember it was like a week before my original court date, and I was like, I went up to a cop and I was like, "Yo, I'm trying to pay off my ticket. It's not in the system." He's like, "It's Newark. Uh, they're gonna take forever. They get backed up." So I was like, motherfucker. And this is right before I went to San Francisco. So I was like, fuck, now I got to have this. And it wasn't until fucking the end of June where I actually got a notice about something. So. What bullshit. Yeah. yeah I just want to fucking pay it off. That's it. Yeah. So. All right. So, yes, thank you guys. Uh, this was actually fun. Um, I'm glad you guys had a fun time. And uh, I guess, uh, Brain, take us out. Anything else anybody want to talk about before we close it out? Or well, it's twelve fifteen at night. I seriously want to talk about. No. Go get um. Go get NCAA football. Uh, college football twenty five. I want more games. <laughs> I don't want that series to die for another eleven years. So, yep. Luna says good night, everybody. Good night, Luna. Hi, Luna. Pretty girl. She gets a belly rub. Yes, she belly does. Belly All right. Well, two nights of absolutely insane draft action come to an end. Good old J.P. Meyer, Silent Assassin, John Fitzmaurice, Dollar Bill, The Cleaner, and The Brain. Until next week, as always, too sweet. Too sweet. Mm, 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 mm. Mm.